Hello, welcome back again to my channel. On this video, we're gonna discuss a problem from Baby Rudin book, Principle of Analysis, Chapter One, Number Nineteen. So the problem is as follows: Let A B be an element in R K, the Euclidean space, with k dimension. Prove that there is a C in R K and an R greater than zero, such that the equation that the distance of x from a is twice the distance from x to b is equivalent to the distance of x from c is equal to r so what does it mean is that shows that the locus of point x satisfying this equality is a circle with center at c and radius r so actually in the book itself it is given a hint what the c should be and also what r should be but for me it doesn't help much actually so i did it in another way not verifying the uh, the c and the r that is given in the hint but showing the equality in the star the star the star equality is equal to the double star equality right so probably uh, just to have a feeling what is the level of difficulty of this problem you may try the problem for yourself at for a moment so please uh, pause the video and give it a try now okay so let's get started so when I first saw this problem, it is uh, quite challenging for me. Like uh, I didn't get it at the first try. So I think until I slept the problem, I mean, I yeah, I let the problem. Uh, sit for one night then i can solve it the next day okay so basically the idea is very simple just rewrite the star equation in terms of uh, the dot product right so recall that uh, if we have equality where both sides are non-negative then if we square both sides we get an equivalent equality right but in general it's not always like this it's not always like that we can we can only do that if you are sure that the left hand side and the right hand side are non negative okay so first then we will say that the star equation is equivalent to maybe it's right down equivalent equivalent to the statement which we obtain by squaring both sides so x minus a squared equals to four times x minus b squared but now the the length square of a vector is the same thing as the dot product of the vector with itself and similarly on the right hand side we can rewrite it as a dot product now we expand both sides so we have x dot x is length of x squared norm x squared oops let me Okay, so this is x squared minus 2ax. Yeah, remember that the dot product satisfying the distributive property. So you like somehow like doing uh, a just normal multiplication, but with, with the dot product plus a dot a, which is norm of a squared for x squared minus 2bx 
plus b squared. Okay. Now we are going to move uh, the x squared to the right hand side. So on the right hand side we have four of that, so it's become three. And then this minus two a will turn into positive two a. But we have but we have here four times minus two b, which is minus eight b dot x. And on the right hand side we keep four b squared minus a squared. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, we moved the four b squared to the left hand side. So. And we have oops sorry, this one is the pen is not very responsive. One A square minus four B square. Okay. Now what do we do? Uh, we divide both sides with three. So x squared plus one third of two a minus eight b dot x is equal to one third of this whole thing. Now, if we look at this quickly, it is as if we have a quadratic equation, and remember that one way to solve a quadratic equation is by doing uh, completing the square and this is not very different from that because the the norm of x squared is x dot x so by using similar trick then we can rewrite the left hand side as x minus so usually when we do uh, completing the square we take half of this coefficient so half of that will be 1 6 to a minus 8 b so actually we can just divide the two across this two a minus eight b. So we'll turn this into a minus four b, and then multiply with itself, right? So actually, when we multiply out everything on this left hand side, we have an extra multiplication, which is the product of this and that. It means that we're adding that term to the left hand side, so we are able to do completing the square. So since we add those expressions to the left, then we need to add the same thing to the right side. So then the red side will, will turn into, keep this one as it is, and then we add the product of these two, which is one ninth. Uh, a minus 4b squared. Okay. Okay. Now the left hand side is nothing but x minus 1 third a minus 4b, the norm of this guy squared, equals to. Uh, maybe we need to what rewrite that one so one third of um, a squared minus four b squared so instead of writing it as the norm squared we just do distributive property for this multiplication so it's going to be what uh, one nine a dot a a squared and then we do 2 times a minus 4b so it's going to be minus 8 a dot b plus uh, plus what plus 4b squared 16 b squared okay we simplify this is one third and this is one ninth. 
So three nine plus one nine will be four four nine. A squared minus eight nine A dot B. This is sixteen over nine minus four third minus twelve over nine. So it's become four nine as well. And then this is equal to what? Uh, one nine and then two a minus two b squared okay you can check like when you square this you get four a dot a get this one and then two times two a times two b gonna be negative eight a dot b and then 4b squared. Okay, select it. And this one can also be written as uh, 2 third of a minus b squared. So therefore, the c that we are looking for, so this is, will turn into x. So both side is a square of something. And both of them are non negative. I mean, it, it is the square of a non negative expression. So when we take the square root, then we have x minus c is equal to r, where the center is exactly this number, it's one third a minus 4b, and then the r is equal to two third of a minus b. Okay, so since each of step is uh, is equivalent to each other, so like like for example, let me for example this step is equivalent to this one. This is equivalent to this one. So each step is equivalent. Then the original one which is actually this one is star A probably because it's a little bit different from the original star. It's equivalent to the last equality, this one. So therefore, they are equivalent and we managed to prove the problem. Okay, so uh, that's all. So thank you for watching. See you again in the next video. If uh, you have any opinion in mind what kind of problem that <coughs> we should do in this channel please do not hesitate to <coughs> give your suggestion okay thank you very much uh, please if you like subscribe and press the like button bye bye